Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. And we will win or we will die trying. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately to contain and destroy them security of our nation. Please! Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! It's true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases. All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant Leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! Please! Madam President! Madam President! What's gonna happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all Deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Thank you. That will be all. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold.
Let's not stay here. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Let's eat up here like rats. Or you look the boy you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. Let's get it to see you. Far from finished yet. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- Got orders to check all civilians. No. No! Please! Fucking androids. November 11th, 2038 is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. 
Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine, but they're alive. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. Step away from the ledge. After all we've been through. I respected you, Hank. Thought we were friends. Oh, yeah, I was just starting to like you, too. But then I realized you never change. You don't feel emotions, Connor. You fake them. You pretended to be my friend when you don't even know the meaning of the word. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! What are you gonna do, Hank? You gonna shoot me? I thought android lives mattered to you. Get away from the fucking ledge! You know I'll shoot you if I have to.